joining me back at my channel, Muffins. Okay, so today's video is going to be on I, Kate House's um, brush set. Is their brand Brushes? Um, and it's the oval set. So let me show you a picture of it first. Um, I purchased mine about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. They're $29 right now on the website. Um, they were out of stock for a really long time, but I see now that I pulled up the website that they're back on stock. So they're $29.99. The regular price is $40.40. So let me show you what the brushes look like on their website. It's a really nice brush set. So it's a 10-piece brush set, and but you can buy them individually. Um, they're at different prices, so I'm just going to read to you what they have um, on the description about these brushes. It's an oval makeup brush set, a 10-piece set, 10, 10 set of, I don't know why it has 10 set of, um, I Kate, I Kate makeup brush. They could have worded it a little bit better than that, but okay. Provides a flawless coverage, soft synthetic hairs, firm grip handle, design, and tilted brush tips. Okay, so these brushes are good for highlighting, contouring, put it on liquid products and also powder products. And I'm going to um, go through each one of the brushes and tell you how I use the brushes. Um, the only thing that is kind of, I mean, could be my little pet peeve. They could have put the names on the brushes, but they don't come with the name on them, but that's okay. So it's a 10-piece set and it comes with... Um, face brushes, eye brushes, contour br a contour brush. So I'm going to talk about my favorite brushes first. So what I really do love are four brushes. They're dirty because I use them. I just use them to um, create this look that I'm, I'm wearing out. So this first brush here, I use it to put on my liquid foundation muffins. When I tell you that this brush is everything about putting your foundation on. The brush is so, so soft. It blends in like better. Um, it doesn't soak up too much product. I don't get streaking when I'm buffing in my foundation. And what I like about this is that you can really buff products into your face. Um, and it's really easy, like it cuts down the time of me even putting on my foundation. If I'm using another brush or a beauty blender, it'll take a little bit longer. But I just go over my face really, really quick. This is my one of my favorite brushes. The brush is so soft. Okay, now, because the brushes are $29.99, they're not, they're, I don't, I wouldn't even really consider them a dupe for the artistry brushes because I'm sure that they're a little bit more, well, a lot probably more better quality, but I don't have the brushes. So I'm going to give you a close up look because um, you can see a little bit of the problem with the brushes, I guess. Like here, you can see that the glue here. You can see the glue to where they glued the bristles in, but it doesn't bother me. I've washed the brushes. I haven't lost any hair. Um, and they're really easy to wash and they dry really quick. I like the fact that the brushes are really dense so it doesn't um, soak up a lot of the product and it really does hold on to the product while you're buffing it in. When I tell you that this brush is everything, hallelujah, everything putting on your liquid foundation and that's from high-end foundation to drugstore foundation. I love this brush. Love it. So one of my other brushes that I really do love to use is this one. It's a smaller version of this brush. And I like to use this brush to um, add in my um, liquid highlighter. I usually put the highlight on the tip of the brush and I just buff it in really nice. I even put my powder highlighter on too along with my liquid highlighter. Really, really nice. You get a seamless, when I say seamless, blend of your makeup everything so I really do love this brush a lot here I don't see any of the glue showing but I can say that the brush it's supposed to be flexible but I kind I hold the brush here just to give me a little bit more sturdiness I hold it here and then I blend in really well so I love to use this brush for highlight for liquid and powder and then my other brush that I love to use now I like to use this brush here and you can see I just pulled out a little piece of um, hair, not hair, the brush bristles there. Um, so I like to use this also to go in and really buff out my contour, especially if I did too much of a 
dark contour or something like that in order to fix it i like to go in and i like to buff out that contour and it's so really really nice and i like to do the contour up on my hairline i can really brush it into my hairline which is a really really good thing um this brush is really 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 good so and this brush here is ultimate is just a smaller version of the brushes that I showed you before now I like to use this brush to blend in my contour I mean not contour my my um, concealer I love to use this any type of liquid concealer that I have I like to use this to blend it in now I must say that for blending in I have used this brush to blend in my LA my pro LA pro um, corrector um, corrector Oh my god i'm gonna have to show you i don't know why i just forgot it that that quick either my tarte um concealer or my color correct and using these brushes you don't get too much of a seamless um blend up underneath the eye i don't know why but you just really don't so i would always have to go in behind it with my beauty blender that's just to give it a little bit more of an even um layer but um, I still do like to use this to buff in my concealer and then I go behind it with my beauty blender and just do a really flawless um, patting motion, to, you know, to even everything out. But I still like this brush a lot. So um, these two brushes here, I guess you can use these two little brushes here to apply um, your powder, I mean your eyeshadow like in the crease here. You can use it to blend it out. I have not used these brushes on my eye yet, but I can see that it does fit right there in my fold. And I can blend out my shadow really well. I'm going to try this the next time I go to put on my eyeshadows. I don't know. It's just a little weird to me using these brushes to blend in my shadow. So I didn't. I was like, oh, okay. But the brushes that I do like to use it also, I like to use it to put my inner color in my tear duct i kind of use it here a little bit just to blend out the front if i put a little bit too much highlighter on this is a really good brush because it gets right into the crevice of my eye here so i like these two brushes for that now i've used this brush here i use this to blend out my eyeshadow powder or cream it fits perfectly in with my um, eyebrows and it makes it a little bit more easier for me to get more of a blended look so it doesn't look too harsh so i like to use this brush to brush out all of my hairs and stuff like that but it's, this is a really nice brush now the brush that i don't use too much i haven't used it but i'm sure that it's good like to blend in your concealer up underneath your eye and i don't know maybe you can use it also to blend in shadow at the um your lower lash line that seems like a really good idea also but i haven't used these brushes for that yet so i'm not really going to give too much of what i think about the um little brushes but i'm sure you can use it here just to blend out your shadow on the lower lash line so this one is i use for my eyebrows and this one is really good i guess to blend out shadow at the bottom and this one here i like to use this one this is the brush that i'm mainly grab to now to blend in my tarte concealer only because the tarte concealer is a little bit more thicker and it blends out much more um, quicker and easily using this brush here. So I really, really do like these brushes. I also have bought the stand for these brushes, which was $7.99. I'm really not too impressed with the stand. I don't even use it because when you put the brushes in it, it kind of like falls out at the bottom or I don't know. It's just it just doesn't really work too well for me. I could have skipped on this. Um, you can get it if you want to just use it to display your brushes but as far as storing yeah because the brushes kind of like slip out through the side of them some of them fit and some of them don't i know i could have had it on a little bit more tighter but they do fit in this little um stand here but some of the brushes like they slide off on the floor and they hit the floor so i'm like okay i just i could have did without it i just used one of my old candles and I just stick them in there. It's much more easy. I can carry it to the kitchen and wash them and just put them back in there and just set them out. But anyway, I'm going to leave the link below. The brushes are in stock now, muffins. It's a really good price. It's only $29.99. You're not really spending too much money for them. They're, the the um, face brushes are fabulous. Even if you don't get the whole set, I think the face brushes are really, really nice for you to pick up. They're just 
they're just amazing. I really do love them a lot. The face brushes, I'm going to go back and pick up another set. But I think I'm just going to pick up more of the face brushes. I'm not going to really deal with the other brushes too much because I love these four brushes here. So that is my review of the iKate House 10-piece brush set, oval brush set. They are in stock now on iKate House website. And I'm going to leave all of the information below, muffins. Um, I'll come back later on during next week or maybe the weekend. And I'll have a video completely showing you how I use every single brush. So thank you for joining me, muffins. Thank you for all of your support on all of my social websites. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, muffins.